I'm going to make 20 years walking with Jesus. Walking with Jesus. When I'm holding on to salvation. Amen. Amen. So, by the time I got saved, the girls had gotten pregnant, the ones that wanted to, to use their children for sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. So the children were born in the month of September. But God has given her grace. But I made a decision after I got saved. I thought about heaven and hell in Kansanga Miracle Center for one, month, one year and four months. When the lady taught me about heaven, she taught me heaven, hell, and I knew some things because you used to work for somebody and we used to have a witchcraft bible and that's where we the servants of the devil make our, our oath from when the lady taught me about heaven and I asked her what can I do to enter heaven she got a Bible and raised it. I just got my Bible. And I said, if you read what is in that book, and you do them, and you, you observe and do them, you are going to enter heaven. So I decided once and for all, I found one that was very difficult, called righteousness that to do righteousness was not easy. but I said let me try I had so many girls so I won't sleep with any other girl ever again until I marry my wife hello that's when I, I made a covenant with my God in the journey, there are some things that were very difficult. But I kept on standing. Amen. Amen. When I shall talk to the ministers, I shall share with them. Usually, I sell things when I'm with the ministers. Praise the Lord. And my second born again is going to make five years. Anna Joy Navagirika. I came here some time here. Because I will never sleep with any other woman ever again. So the next one was 14 years old. So that we can have another child. But there's something I wanted to destroy. Hello? Hello? So the third one is Joshua. He's going to be three years old. Praise the Lord. That's how God has done it. Yeah. And the years have gone as we have five other children. I found her with her two babies. Praise the Lord. We thank God. He has given us a full family. Three boys, two girls. Amen. We thank God for that. I am a worker. First of all, I am a minister. We serve the living God. And he blesses me as his minister. And I am also a worker. I and my wife I married her from Victoria's she was a teacher and God had given me a responsibility for children in the ministry so I had something that used to disturb me you said men tell your neighbor men and I was asking myself why do they give birth to children and they don't take care of them? 
That was disturbing me. So I made another decision. I said, I'm going to do a business. Is for training or teaching men. How should they love and care for the children they have produced? I had one time our president Museveni. He was teaching people about patriotism. Eh? Mm. I discovered the men produce children and they don't love them. So I got that burden in my life. I said, I'm going to create a business. This one is for nurturing children. Because that is my ministry. And then I can get some money out of it. But the money I'm going to get. Talk, talk. I'm going to pray our evening talks, coffee talks. But I invite the men to welcome different men, people, pastors or businessmen or all manner of people so that they can talk to these men to teach them how to love the children they have produced. And then God heard that. I wanted to marry a girl who is an accountant. And she left me when it was only two months to the wedding. Then God brought this woman, a teacher. I got the money I had on an account and I told the Lord, should I build a house or should I do business? We went up the mountain. Just married her. Is where up there in the mountain where Pastor Bonnie found me. Because I had gone ahead of him by two days. There. I'd gone with my wife. And we are inquiring of the Lord, should we rent, should we build a house, or should we do business in this money that we have? Prayed for three days. And God never spoke. For me, if he doesn't speak, I don't get angry. Because I know first of all he has heard. So I had to go and do ministry in Mitiana. Because of that, there was a lady a married woman it's now about nine years and she had no child she was not going to drive me to the place of ministry in the morning as I'm leaving on Sunday she was already at home waiting for me so that we can go and minister in Mitiana she's a singer one of the people who leave the worship team in Mutundi she's a decorator she's a worker I sat in her car. I said, Pastor, why don't you make a school? I feel that you are able to make a school. There's something inside you. I'm asking you, make a school. Remember, I left the mountain God had not spoken. This one has no child, even if she's married. And she's a singer. Those things of children are not her area. When she spoke, I heard God speak. The question was, where? That was the next question. I inquired of the Lord, where? Praise the Lord. The money is on the account. So I'm asking where? There is a pastor. My friend called Pastor Mark Chiagatendo. His church is Redeemed Life Church. 
He had spent a whole eight years without talking to me. I had previously prepared a children's camp for him. But they had been making these camps before. And they had failed. And the wife told him, Let's look for Alan so that he can do something for us. And the wife called me. She was working with the Minister of Health. And I said, Let me come and we meet. And she said, Please organize a camp, a children's camp. Because we have organized, but this time we have failed. We wanted to have a three day camp. I said, We are going to have a week of children's camp. I organized this camp because I had the experience. When I organize it, remember the church doesn't have a place for boys and girls. So I chased them out of their office and I prayed the church. And then I poured the many girls in the church. So I walk up to inspect and see what is happening. Because the office is very near there. I have no askari. So I put my tent on the outside so that I can be a security guard. Inside there were metrons. But we have to take care and find out whether the security is open. About 3 a.m. I wake up in my tent. And I looked up there on a Seguku prayer mountain. There were many, many lights in the houses. And I said, Lord. Lord, they took away my house. Right now, I don't have a house now. Hello? Hmm? Then the voice said to me, All the children that are in those houses that you're seeing do not know me. I want you to put a work for me here. Make the children know that my name is. Mm. There was much death that said, What? I heard it a second time. After I went home, I told my wife, we are going, we are going, because they finished a concert, they so are going back to Ngobe down there. There is where we are going to build a school. And they say, I said, hey, who goes in that dust? I said, that's where God is telling us to go. Praise the Lord. Uh, briefly, after we have just gone there, we shifted on, on the 27th of February. On the 11th of March, I bought everything that can start a daycare. And I paid for the rooms, two of them for eight months so that I can take care of the children. I began to do the work. Amen. Amen. Listen. I was working on, on taking on Baba TV as a technician. So I resigned from that job so that I can go and attend to the job. Because my, my, my wife is a professional teacher. I said her papers will help register the school. On the, on the 18th of March, I paid the school of March. The schools were locked down by the president. So we went to two years. So I'm asking you the question. 
If it was you, would you say, did God speak? Or it was my fault hearing? Hello? So we went for four months, the first four months of COVID. And we also paid for the house for four months. We went to another four and so that we made eight of the other house. You and, and uh, I and my wife are looking at each other. Hmm? Listen. The house I have is for a haji. The rent is also run out. We couldn't get out. My father sent us food on a, on a border board and there are only four of us now. Two grown people and two young ones. The older daughter was with their grandfather and others their father. Now, we lock ourselves in our compound, in our house, four of us. And I asked the Lord, what should I do? Clear. Clearly, the voice said, what do you have? I read it in the Bible. That's where Moses, Moses was asked, What do you have? And asked my wife, We are teachers. We have bought these things for the school. We should start to teach the children even during COVID. I made my flyers. I went to church. I said, if you have children, send them to me, I'll teach them. And whatever money you have, I'll teach them. If you have 1,000 or 2,000, me, I want to educate children. Bring them. And then there was a flood of children coming. Surprising. We had children from other, we had children from, uh, from who are who are Going from the rich five families. Star schools. Five star schools. They were coming to the ours. Green Hills, they are Those big powerful Ay. schools. They came to ours. They gave him that. So, so when you tell them amount of money, they just accept. Because they want the children to learn, to be educated. I mean, we did a powerful job there. We got about 1.4 That's the money we receive every month. Mm. We, we, we paid the debts there. The landlord and, 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 and yet you are feeding. So now the, the children could not fit in the compound. So I rented another place. Somebody had their rented houses with no people and put the children there. Not even the police would question what we were doing. The one the, the, the commissioner general prison we have his children. DSTV, they are both their children is in our place. government. The one who, who cleans it. The, the the we, we, we are mighty, no one will touch or shake us. Listen. And then the schools opened. And my wife then told me, I am going back to Victoria's Victoria, where I teach you. I said, if you are going back, go to us to start this work. So I'm going to stand in that time. Google TV. Google TV. Yet I got professional. Needed a professional. Who is going to work for them? There is something that has failed. So the young man running it, we are together with Baba TV, but he's a Muslim. 
I know a Morocco not very much Na educated, but he has skills TV. in TV. So they call me. The wife has gone back to teach. I am now with the children in the school. They have given me a job at Google TV. I tell them, man, I want, they don't have. The voice told me, there is something I want to fix here. Those are very funny things. Then I joined Google Day. Listen, I joined Google TV. I do whatever work I do for them. Where the wife went, the very administrator of the school, my, my wife was very close with Barbara, the proprietor of the school of Victorious. Those are the innermost, the inner eh? chamber intercessors. God has chased you from me. Go and do what the Jews are supposed to do. Go away from me. I had me chasing a good friend. But the one that chasing away is a, is a right hand person. And she got confused. Go and do the children. She got up, left the job, and, the, and she was among the children. And said, How many? The parents have taken back their children. And we understood. But in that situation, listen. There were children who have never been to school. The parents were saying, We're not taking them anywhere else. There were seven children. They gave us those seven. In the second term, the parents are taking the children. They are saying, They are saying, Where we took them, they are only regressing from what we are doing them here. I said, We are not taking them anywhere. We have also given them the children. Then we had 23 children in the second term. Fourth, third term. Third term. By the time we left, we had 29 children. In one year. So the thing in which God is is very funny. We didn't think about that. Eh? Mm. And then the Hajj got angry with us. I said, Leave my house. One, one month. In third term. In third term, one month to go. One month to go in the The Hajj says, Leave my house. I, don't have you, I even pay in advance. And something rose. I didn't have money then. And I asked the Hajj, Hajj, where are you chasing me to? He said, Didn't you come from any place to come here? Usually I have, I have people's children. They are in his compound. I educate them there. They have a bedroom and a, and a, and a dining for our children. Hello? Mm. The become, this Muslim man. Lord, 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 your job. Because this is my job. Then I want to look for a place for my no family. Find a, a, a good house. I went to David Lutalo. Let me give you a piece of these houses here. So I knew my family is safe and housed. As I was leaving, one of the parents, the TSG, what happened, teacher? He said, I've come from Rutalo's place. I was looking for a house to rent. His houses are not like them very much. She spoke like that, demeaning him. This is the reason. What? 
Where do you put our children? Mama jangu tu gende nangi ntuala mnyo. She took me to the house. Naje millions zibiri. And she got two millions. Nangam. And told me. Geno nonyo woteka abana bafi. Go and find a place for our children. Leave the hajj alone. Sure. Where you agalo rizimpa? If you want to, you can pay back. People have more house money in their houses. I didn't ask for the money. But they, I have had daughter I'm teaching. The, the husband was like, a teacher, but where do they go to school? In those dusty places. Listen. We search for a house where we can place our children. Landlord, Surprising the landlord. <laughs> Listen. Where God had showed me. Ku prayer mountain. And the prayer mountain. Eh? Mm. Is where there was a girl. The mother passed away. And left of the house. There were six beds. Bedrooms. She wanted to put a school. She failed. You know what to do. So she was looking for somebody to put a school. So I come and I want to put a school in the same house. I said, Give me 500. And, uh, put there the children. So I have I'm um, a worker, I'm also working. I teach the children of the Lord. But in this last holiday, those who think we have a kadongo kamu home. Where they are going to be born to be a victorious. When they heard that the baby was going to be born, they were not happy. 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 They but God told us to teach what he wants us to teach. Hmm. They have come. Eh? Hmm? When you tell them money, yes. that is a little money. <laughs> so that is work. Tonight, I came to speak to you workers to encourage you they have always encouraged you but I've come to tell you everything is possible what God prepared that you should do it is you was delayed after we left here yesterday I spoke many things then I spoke about dancing on the pulpit huh? mm. You know these things of online. People are watching you. And the workers, God bless you. And I began to get phone calls. So, what kind of dance should we have on the pulpit? So people were very disturbed at the same time touched by the thing the and you left it hanging. Isn't that so? Because I got enough phone calls. All of them are uh, touching one matter. Muse also called me and said, I have also phone calls. They're talking about dancing. Says, Even if it is time for workers. But I should talk about dancing. What style of dancing? And then I discovered that those who are dancing, they went to the Kuanjula. Hmm? Worship team. The worship team is in Kuanjula. Because we also needed that thing. They are about about to come back because by seven they should be here, maybe. Amen. Amen. And they have got to prepare at a for Saturday. Because of that. This issue of dancing. Let me handle it tomorrow Friday. Because tomorrow we have a long time. Up to 10 p.m. 
Have you understood? Kakati ngenda kugazia lwa kumanti nchia chena denja gala tuwa gala kusaguru mchitu mbuchino. Yesterday I wonder that you may cause heaven to descend. Because when Jesus goes is, this is a place where he's going to place his name. It means he's going to come and dwell. We want him to come and dwell here in Naruvri. So tomorrow, one of the things I feel, we want God to come and dwell here in Naruvri. And please come very early tomorrow. Especially you, the worship team. Especially the intercessors. Praise the Lord. So that you can have enough time so that we can worship and heaven descends because when heaven shows up that means even God even if you have to bring another team to help you put the two teams together I will do it praise the Lord because the month of worship we have spoken and seen many things. Let's live our sin. Let God come and dwell in our midst. Praise the Lord. What I feel for tomorrow. Before we do that, the truth is that I'll go deeper concerning dancing. Even you Sunday school people are always throwing your legs about and arms flinging everywhere. Let's have a uniqueness in Naruvre. We want revival to spring from here. That's why I came to open and release my heart to share. And in Uganda, I fear nobody. I don't care what you look like. I only honor people. I honor the president and his cabinet. And the ministers of God, the spiritual fathers. But the false ones, I don't honor them. You, Mufere, Mufugundi. Praise the Lord. Tonight, now that's a day for workers, I want to thank God. He gave me your issue. We all as workers, I am a worker. I have been employed for 25 years working in the media. I have experience in Uganda's media because there's many workers that I've handled and I don't uh, uh, I can do all kinds of work I took away that matter that I never went to school me, I went to school. In our time when we went to school, when we were in senior two, you were like in senior six. Wangi, mm. Echisoka, First of all, I can write a letter. I can write for a, a, a vacancy application. I can ask for food anywhere I've gone. I know how to write my name. And I have a signature too. Mm. Because signatures can disturb that one. They disturb people. <laughs> you go to the bank and you sign six times and all different. Amen. Amen. I can read any sign post. I can't get lost. So, there is no office I can fail to enter whatever what I can't do I cannot be an MP or even stand as president the politicians don't worry about me I will not compete against you because I don't have a PLE certificate even senior 4 and senior 6 I don't have but I'm studying a diploma in theology. 
for four years I've taken only two years. I am in that school of Apostle Mitala. And I've done that diploma that, that we saw me in the degree area. Amen. After there, I'm going straight to Makiriri. So, wherever, wherever, all your long journey, thank you, mine is here. Amen. Shortcut, Paka Makiriri. So, don't worry about me. Politicians. Amina. Amina. Now, I have been employed. Now, and I'm an employer. Praise the Lord. When I say something is possible, I know. I have gone through it. I'll give you a brief of 15 minutes, my journey as an employee. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because I had this talent of music, I began to employ myself musically. I would write songs for other people. Working with a man called Steve Jean. We need to write songs. And the songs that of Joseph Chameleon. The first two albums that he made. I had, a, I had a big hand in writing and editing every song. But those should just do music. We should just enjoy it. Without being paid really. But any songwriter today, if you don't have between one and three million shillings, don't ask a person to write a song for you. You see, that is a job, a work. Actually, people make money out of it. Hello? Hello? For me, I used to do to fulfill my boss, the devil's purpose for me. But there wasn't any payment at all of any sort. But I got whatever needed very quickly. First of all, I got my passport very quickly because there was many travels. Yeah? Mm. Secondly, I made friends, good friends, those that need help, those ones who profit, and the unprofitable ones. Because they are useless friends and yet they are present. Hello. Amen. In my journey's life, travel. There was a man. After they have turned, they began that CTV. And he said to me, You are very wise. His name was Mwaka. Radio Simba. He is now the engineer at Radio Simba. Nangamba. And he told me, Young man, you are very wise. I want to work with you. I desire that so much. I said, okay. Where, Where do you work on TV? Which TV? There used to be Sanyu TV. You remember that one? He said, okay, let's go. Like that. He took me in his car. And he said, I want to teach you these machines. So that you can work together with me because I'm by myself. I know in your wisdom you should be able to do this. He did not ask for any qualifications. I joined TV and he told me all the equipment without asking for even anything. But in this equipment, I was in the mixers. Uh, there are those who call audio mixers. Ne, 
uh, video mixer na yetu tutazita atemu wa zilina we have their technical the technical terms kakati nenkuguka i became an expert I came and I, I came up to Roger Mugisha. The devil told me. The voice told me to go to Capital Radio. I, 2000. I found a man called Patrick Otembo in the year 2000. 2018 is when I joined the other one. Roger is at Sanyo FM. And then he joined Capital FM. Capital Radio. So I find him in Capital Radio. I find a man called Patrick Otembo, sales representative, and he tells me he was a Kenyan. He said, Go Alan. I thank God because you are here. And there's a young man called Shadow who is waiting for you up there. My first time of Kuyingi Radio. The first time I entered the radio station, I entered Capital Radio. And then I saw this treatment. But they were like the ones I had seen previously. I said, Are you Alan in the I thank God. Because I'm waiting for you a long time. He was a Muchiga, the most handsome Muchiga in Uganda. And he said, I've been waiting for you. After I done whatever I did with him, I came. I was given a music selector as a joke. And yet, I did not I was seen the computers, but I wanted to touch the mixers. Two years, I didn't take it as a matter. Hello? Hmm? Now, I, I must do the computer. Capital Radio, yaba, uh, uh, Capital radio agent. is for agents. So you must select your Every music. Presenter Every presenter finds a music selected already. We enter the boardroom. No Mzungu William Pike boss. With, with this man, Ano-ya William Pike. Today. The panel is there. We sit there. For me, I would not fear. And then he asked me, Now, these are two experiences. Can you tell us about your experience in these things? And I told him, Today you're giving me the job. Is the experience I have between you and me right now? And he told me, Employed him. That was the interview. I come to Capital Radio. He handed me over to a man. His name is called Alex Sindaula. He teach him whatever you have been doing so that he can do. So I will get the mouse. And I, and, I, and I follow the mouse of the computer like that. I began the job. Listen, the benefits. They will pay 160,000 for salary. They gave me a house, 360,000 in Muyenga. They gave me a car to bring me and take Things me. Things have begun to change. I'm entering media seriously. I had a very sharp eye chew. In one week plus three days, I was an expert in computer. I know every password for every presenter. Because every presenter has got their code where they find their music selected already. So I was in the music server. So I don't place their music there. In exactly 10 days. And I've never seen that person. Listen. And then I begin to expose a different gifting. And I told them, your programs need some ingredients. 
rebranding mu programming yabasa program ya wenge US then i made a rebranding in the men who make their programs in the US program then i created another program bali bajita the late date called late date ha Hmm. William Naga Chichichi. William Pike said, wow, we have a brain here. Now they gave me up to 200,000 as salary. They took me to South Africa. 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 They took me to Kiss FM. Oh, the Kenyans have got a, a, a media brain. Yeah. Mm. I worked. There were very many wise guys. I know my English is from here. But the things they do, I was an even expert over them. In, in the nine months when I spent in South Africa. And then I got in a job that would feed me the rest of my life. How to program radio and TV. How program radio and TV. We shall, we shall have online radio online. That's how we start our, our online radio also. There are things we're going to do. Praise the Lord. And you'll be surprised. Because some of us are serious workers. And after I left, tukoze, tukoze. Went on walking. William Pike. The man is called William Pike. Uh, no, Omami mm. wamitanga Peter Kaba. He is PD. The programs director. Programs director was called Peter Kaba. Lava, Omusajja Karim Hilj. Karim Hilj. Ayagalo kola Dembe FM. Wants to create Dembe FM. Aita uh, Peter. He calls Oli Peter. Oli we never gam you was sounded. Eh? The one I told you about the, the sound technician. The sound technician. Akola gun. Katigoba ita. They invite you. He comes with his army. He comes with me. No, Mulala. Another person. We begin to do Dembe FM. But take care and quarter programming. Take care and lead the day. I'm taking enough money. In that time, Jukira, remember, I was born again. I've gotten saved. But I was still. You know, DJ DJ and That year disturbed me quite a bit. 2004. We began Dembe FM. As I'm there, Pastor Senyonga, na ina sabe sala. Pastor Senyonga pray. E gamba nti na say. Na koye, kwa tuali programi ya generali kula generali producing. The program was part of the time in the evening. The program was part Na inga, oru sova kuchacha, you know, ba producing ba uwe, chini. I said, attend mu kusoma ulonga ni mu Bible school. I was in Bible school. Bible study. Sorry, Bible study. Tanga Bible study kansa. Bible study in kansa. Kati. Now. I pray. In these little prayers, we pray. I said, Lord, give me a, a born again company so that I can put my inner man in order. You pray and you forget. Listen. And then Pastor Senyonga calls Roger Mugisha. Now, Roger Mugisha was still at Capitol. Hmm? Hmm. Over still working. Roger Mugisha. Then Roger Mugisha. Pastor Senyonga Muita Amu Koreko Walwacha Twitter. The research we call for the listeners. Research or Waba Uriza. Uh huh. We will get choose a station. You know, so Kakumanya Waba Uriza. If you are going to change the station, you need the listenership. So he calls us. Waita Roger, Roger Naga Kafuru Wange Jango. Roger says, hey, my expert, come and we go. We went. Levels of what? We went we went all mind of things. We found this radio. Top radio. Top radio. He had another called Kampala FM. Eh? Mm. English. This one is for Uganda. The one in English. We didn't even have one person to listen. 
Tugendo kusange yu Uganda. And then Uganda. Nga ina yu program zibiri ya zaba uliriza. He had only two programs for people who listen. E sanyo mutumbi. E sanyo mutumbi. Ya mamifale And then the one for testimony. And said all of you are this. Zile di waji ulira. People yu listen. This is the born again yu ready. Yu kama but with only, they only sent two programs. Katituko lobu jingles. So we create jingles. He hears my voice. So Chief Roni.